Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and welcome back to the wonderful world of encryption. Okay, now in this video, we're going to get heavy into some uh, encryption commands, and it's going to be a little uh, dicey, it's going to be a little complicated, but uh, the upshot of which is we're going to have a super secure system. So we're going to create a key file for our base Debian system, and uh, let's move in. Okay, so in my previous videos, I walked you through the installation of Debian on uh, a system where we're going to have, we have an internal solid state drive that is encrypted, full disk encryption. And then we installed our boot partition on uh, a removable flash drive so that uh, the boot and the grub bootloader all start from this flash drive and then we boot into the main system. Now, on boot, we're required to enter the uh, encryption passphrase that we created, or, or what's called the, the key phrase for our encrypted hard drive. Now we're going to take it a little step further. What we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, key file, uh, a long key file, randomized key file, and then we're going to replace that with our we're going to replace our passphrase with that and then we're going to move this whole thing over to the flash drive so that the only way to unlock the internal solid state encrypted full disk encrypted drive is with this key file so if the key file gets lost or destroyed the drive is basically um, un unusable so it gives you very high security so I know it sounds a little complicated, but just think of it as we're creating a key for our car. And uh, there's only one key for the car, and if we lose it, then we can never start the car again. That's basically what we're doing. Okay, so I have to give credit where credit is due. I learned how to do most of this from the anonymous guide. And uh, the, I'm going to give you a link to the anonymous guide. It takes you through this whole process uh, that I walk you through, this installation, and then uh, this next segment that I'm going to do, uh, they give very specific instructions. So uh, I'm going to give them credit where credit is due. Here we go. This is our anonymous guide uh, put out by the anonymous group and it's a step-by-step -step guide from beginning to end on how to create a uh, secure system using Debian, Hunix, and the Tor project. So uh, this is a great guide. I'm, like I said, I'm going to give you a link. They always keep it updated. And then also I might add that when I downloaded the guide, uh, they have a signed key file here and then down here on the front page they give you the GPG key and uh, you can get the signing keys for them so that you can verify this guide and make sure that it wasn't altered in transport. Okay, so let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a random key file and we're going to use this command here. It's basically copying uh, the urandom function is uh, what's going to generate this key file and then these are the parameters and it's going to be written to a sub uh, you know creating a directory uh, called key file and that's where it's gonna end up okay so we're gonna need to open our command uh, line interface We're going to need to get into the uh, super user account. Okay, and now we cut and paste this guy here. Hit enter. Okay, and there we go. We've created a key file. All right, now the next step is to edit our. Uh, name of this thing is the 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 crypt tab file and we'll do that by doing our nano command and 
and then I'm lazy I'm gonna cut and paste this guy here whoops I'll just start here I've already done nano yeah by this time I could have typed the whole thing right okay here we go okay that's the original uh, state of the file and we're going to add some uh, we're gonna alter that a little bit they're gonna this is what it looks like according to them and according to us we can see we're going to uh, take this text here and we're going to paste it in uh, but before we do that we're going to erase this none lux and replace it with our text we can control shift V for paste and then I'm going to remove that odd space that got created when I selected that probably could have done them one at a time as well but uh, we want that to be a real space okay and now that we have it and then also over here we want to make note of this guy this is our device name I'm gonna copy that while I got it up and we're going to save this file we're going to control X and then we're going to choose yes or Y and then we'll hit enter to save changes and that's you have to be in the super user account in order to be able to save if you're not then it's going to tell you permission denied and all kinds of crazy crazy stuff so now that we've got that done we're going to move to the next step and this is where we do this crypt setup and before i do that i am going to let's go back to our command line going to put a foe command in there Oops. there we go that's my device name of course that's not a command but I'm gonna leave it up there that way I can cut and paste it so we're gonna grab this guy here we're gonna copy and put it back into the command line and then we are going to take that device name Copy this guy and then we'll paste him right here and there we go so now I've got the fought the uh, uh, crypt set up I'm gonna add this key to my device uh, from the key file and uh, if we look up here uh, it looks like we've pretty much mirrored theirs kind of strange that they're saying enter any but okay so we hit enter okay and uh, the existing passphrase is the passphrase that we use when we're booting up the computer the one that we set during our installation uh, it's pretty long and so we hope we type it correctly enter give it a minute to churn away and lo and behold uh, I've typed the password correctly so according to the guide here it says uh, if the process was a success you will return to the command prompt okay which I did uh, now I need to encrypt the key file with the GPG program using uh, the GPG command here. It's uh, it's an encryption. It's uh, telling it to encrypt that key file with the AES 256 encryption algorithm. We'll hit paste there. Um, actually let me just show you this is the GPG command we can just do version see what we're at here uh, Debian 8 has uh, version 2.1.18 version of GNUPG uh, the Debian 9 has uh, a very modern version of uh, the GNUPG software I'm really happy that Debian uh, has this version it was kinda difficult to run it uh, before so uh, let's go ahead and do that and we're ready to go 
So this is the GPG command. Okay, now it's asking me for a passphrase now. I could leave this blank because it's the, the key file itself is our real key, but we can even add more security by requiring a passphrase on the key file as well, So, which I'm going to do. twice, right? Okay, so now I've got this key file created on this flash drive. Or no, I'm sorry, it's, it's just on my uh, hard drive at the moment. And then let's see what our next step is. Okay, now we're going to move it. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to move this key file over to boot. So you can see here, and I'll just show you in the command line. It's a little easier. You can see here that the command that we're uh, giving, we're moving the key file, uh, the encrypted key file, over to slash boot. Okay. Anytime we reference slash boot in this particular system, we're referring to that external flash drive because when we created this system, we put the boot partition on the external uh, uh, 8 gigabyte flash drive. Uh, this system I didn't partition, but uh, that's neither here nor there. So let's do this. We hit enter okay and then we moved it so uh, we've de we've by move we delete the original on the hard drive and we move a copy of it over to the uh, flash drive okay and now we need to run this update command that guy in there and there we go uh, we did receive that same warning that they told us we were going to get but they told us to just disregard that okay and now we're going to need to restart the computer so I'm going to need to end the video uh, after we reboot back into our system we're going to finish this up there's a few little extra steps we need to take to get this uh, all the way taken care of and uh, so I know this was a little bit involved and uh, maybe a little over your head. It was uh, quite over my head the first time I went through it. I just followed their advice. But each time I've gone through it, uh, I understood, uh, understood a little bit more what was going on. And I may have even flubbed up some of the description. But if you follow the steps that I'm taking and cutting and pasting and using your correct device name, then uh, you're gonna get a, a secure system as well. So thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope to see you again. Be sure and check out uh, the next piece of this process in my next video. And thanks for joining me. If you like me, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my feed so that you can be notified the next time I post a video. Thanks a lot.